Today, in its last session before recess, the legislative yuan passed a bill that allows harsher sentencing for repeat drunk drivers. Now, DUI offenders can be given a life sentence for causing a deadly crash if they have a DUI conviction from the past five years. But families of victims say that for drunk drivers who put others' lives in danger, a life sentence is not enough. Outside the legislative yuan, this mother is visibly distraught as she talks about how her daughter was killed by a drunk driver six years ago. On May 28, 2013, my daughter was on her way home at night. She was walking on a zebra crossing and was just two or three steps away from reaching the other side. It was then that a drunk driver slammed into her. Driving drunk is a crime in and of itself. It's indirectly causing an intentional homicide. Punishing that with a death sentence should not be up for debate. Ling Yuying expresses a similar pain as she looks at photographs of her son on a hospital bed. Her son was standing on the side of a street when a drunk driver ran him over. He crashed into my son, leaving him in a vegetative state. My son's life effectively ended there at 20 years old. The perpetrator's attitude and mentality was truly despicable. As the members of victims await a decision from lawmakers, inside the legislative yuan, members of the opposition express their dissatisfaction with the DPP's proposal. Drunk drivers are like a ticking time bomb. They are like terrorists, killing people at random. The death penalty is certainly a must. That's the only way that we can deter future drunk drivers. KMT lawmakers called for the death penalty, but in the end, the legislative yuan approved a bill that raised the penalty for repeat offenders to a life sentence if their actions result in a death. Under the bill, violators get up to 10 years in prison if they cause severe injuries.